2022 if you still come into people as a woman pack that shit up because what the fuck oh so good morning i'm back with another smoke session because looking at my channel we didn't do one in like two weeks three weeks and it's supposed to be a weekly thing so i said i'm just gonna come and give you guys a wake and bake really fast it is 7 49 and first of all it's sunday january 23rd 7 49 in the morning so this is gonna be our smoke session before our productive day so since i want to get up so early we're gonna make today very productive make sure you guys like comment subscribe grab your Eat, grab your snack and let's just get into the smoke session i don't really have like a set topic so i guess we just gonna chat but yeah like i was saying a couple seconds ago it's dead 7 49 in the morning and i'm just up like i told y'all in my last video my sleeping schedule is trash like i don't know what's going on i woke up at like 6 30 today and i said all right since i'm up today's gonna be a productive day we're gonna get these videos out because I recorded a video yesterday too that I got to edit up and post. Edit and post. And I'll probably post that one after this one. I'm like, since I want to be up so early, we're going to be productive. I woke up at 6.30, went and got me some breakfast. I know my tea and my bagels. Got to keep the gains going. And yeah. I just can't believe... That I keep waking up so early, like, it's so... Well, I can't even be like, it's annoying, but it's just like, dag, I'm about to keep waking up early every single day. <sighs> I guess every day that I wake up early, I could try my best to just record something. Make it productive. Like, I just don't want to just be up for no reason, laying around. Like, I'm feeling real energized. I don't know why. But I guess that's a good thing, because I could just use this energy in the right way like i said being productive and scrolling on social media right now so oh yeah because nba young boy just released his album colors and if you know me you know that's my husband and i've been addicted to the song snow bunny for some reason like i ain't a snow bunny but let me tell y'all this man just, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all my man. He just do something to my soul. Like he just, I don't know, but he just do. And that album, I'm in love with it. Just like I'm in love with every other one of his albums. Like OMG, but yes, yeah, Snow Bunny is like one of my favorite songs on there. Foolish figure, expensive taste. Like, I wish I could bump right now with you guys. I mean, I could, but then I'd have to mute it in and out, and that's boring. But, yeah, those are my few favorite songs that I noticed on there. Him and Dirk is getting me tight. Them going back and forth with this, with them posting the money. Like, oh my God. They got the internet in a frenzy. Everybody and their mother on Facebook is doing that right now. Like, grow up. Like, what? I know y'all seen this. They just going back and forth, like, mad annoying. Oh yeah, and I still kept, I'm still journaling as well. I got my, um, matter of fact, let me go get my notebook. So yeah, I'm still, um, now I don't wanna really call it journaling, but just writing down my goals for myself and what I wanna do so I don't get off track or anything like that like anything that just pops in my head that i want or that i want to i guess manifest for myself you could say i've been writing it down like trying to work on like my um issues that i know i have like just me as a person so that when i am fully ready to be in a relationship or whatever the case may be or just for me period like not even for a relationship just for me like <sighs> I don't want to have codependent behavior I don't want to just be relying on somebody else to make me happy or feeling like I need to be talking to um 
you know any certain people or anybody in particular just to feel some type of way like you got to be able to make yourself happy so yeah i want to love myself first and i don't want to have no codependent behavior that's what i wrote down and then i wrote black girl luxury let me see if y'all can see it i wrote black girl lux in caps because that's what it's about to be like as at the end of the day it's like Nobody gonna do nothing for you and you gotta do everything you wanna do by yourself. So if the people that you allow to have in your life are distractions, like whether they're relationship, friends, whoever it is, mixy people, just get them out of your life. Just eliminate it, let it go. Just release it and just let it go because I'm telling you that toxic energy, that negative energy, that big negative cloud that people like to bring, that will hover over your head and just manifest other things like i swear to god once it's one bad thing then it's like 10 other bad things following that like i just have no more time for that i've been cutting up everybody who i feel like is not fit to be in my life who because everybody's not gonna be able to take your life journey with you so you know and everybody is not meant to be in your life permanently you know some people are there temporarily and you have to just be able to distinguish who's there temporarily and you know get rid of the people who are no good for you i curled my hair yesterday i took my bonnet off and this is how it looked <laughs> crazy but yeah like i was saying i'm just gonna continue working on me like i've been doing and i'm not gonna let nobody distract me from my goals and the things that i see for myself because when it happens, people just gonna be like, Dad, she did say that, right? Yeah, I did. So yeah, that's all I'm waiting for. Like, I'm just trying to keep positive, keep minding my business, keep drinking my water, keep gaining my weight, and just stay focused on myself, worry about my financial stability, just things that I wanna manifest for me. Like, just worry about myself. The more I worry about myself, eventually along the way somebody will come and, and just mesh into my like because i was never really the type of person that was that would look for people to be with like i don't know oh yeah and it was something else that i wanted to touch on too because i had seen something on um i believe it was instagram and it had got me tight and i screenshot it because i wanted to touch on it in my next video like what hold on let me see if i can find it i don't know i can't find it but it was just something probably about relationships or whatever i'm just over it like not even i don't want to say that i'm over relationships because i'm not i'm ready to start my new whatever is coming my way because right now i cut everybody off i'm not dealing with nobody i'm not messing with nobody i don't have no boyfriend i don't have no none of that i barely even have friends i could count on my hand how many friends i have i cut so many people off it's not even funny like i'm just <laughs> Like, that's how I know I'm moving on to the next step into my life because of the fact, like, that alone just says a lot. Because I went from having a million people around me to just cutting off the people who I feel like don't even need to be around me. So, when sh shit do get to where I want it to be, I don't have to worry about he, she, whoever. Because y'all wasn't the people that was around me when I was sitting in the crib bored not doing nothing. And we were just smoking, chilling, whatever then. So, you know it's like that type of time right now like so it's okay we just gonna focus on us and keep building keep growing and that's all i need to do keep staying positive drinking water minding my business getting my weight like i said before and yeah keep growing because i don't want no distractions this year i get distracted so easily because I don't know like when I start when I and then another thing is me like okay so when I get into relationships I love hard so when I'm in love I'm in love I'm in love love okay so <laughs> once I love you it's like I want to live in your skin I want to be around you I want to be up under you so another thing I had to work on was just being able to balance like being with someone and then being able to still live my life be able to do what I need to do and like just have that equal balance like social life work just everything like so yeah, while I've been single in this time that I've just been by myself, like between quarantine and not working and all this stuff going on with my kids and stuff like that, it's just like, I've been having so much time to just be to myself, like for real, and think about what does Cece want to do? Like, what is Cece's purpose? Like, what what like you know what are some things that i want to accomplish like you know without another individual by my side or just without having to have a group or whatever what do i want to do like you know so yeah 
I'm really pushing the agenda this year. But y'all gonna see because things are gonna slowly change and pick up and you're just gonna be like, but it's not even for y'all, it's more for me. Like, cause I'm not doing anything for anybody in particular. I'm just doing it for me. That's who you gotta do it for, cause nobody's gonna do it for you. I just don't want no toxic energy, no toxic people. People just who are around me for the wrong reasons or just, you know, there on their time or whatever the case may be. I'm just over that. Like friends, whoever it is, like, you gotta go and you will be cut off expeditiously. I'm on my T.I. shit early morning. I want to come up with like a routine. Maybe every morning when I do, when I do my wake and bake and drink my tea, I'll just come and I'll just write more things down and just how I feel. Because I need to continue making myself a priority and stay consistent with what I want to do because we flourishing this year. But I don't know if I said that. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram as well because my Instagram is slowly growing. That's another thing, I need to continue being consistent on Instagram and just take some pictures. It's like I be changing my hair and I be getting dressed and I be doing so much stuff, but I don't be taking no pictures. I don't know, I just haven't been like in that picture mood lately. Like before, I could just take pictures all day. Like if you know me, you know I'm in my phone staring at myself 24 seven. So it's like, for me to not be in a picture mood, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But I haven't really been in a picture mood. So I haven't really been taking no new pictures, but I need to. Maybe I'll do a photo shoot or something because I need to do something. Like what? So you see with no new pictures, and it's 2022 and we come in differently. So I think I'm going to just do a, a photo shoot that's like out of the box, a little different for me just to like start, th start that off with a bang. Like, you know? I'm on the shave room catching up on the drama because you know the shave room be on everybody's business, so... I wonder if Megan and Party really broke up. I already know. <laughs> I would be the type to be on the shade room for clapping back at a fan or a supporter or or so whoever, a hater, whoever. CC Valentine against whoever again. Because what? People when you get when you reach a certain point, people just be talking out their face, talking about stuff they don't know, saying whatever. And it's like, y'all forgetting that we are wreck we. Well, yeah, because I'm about to you see how you, that's how you know it just that's how true it is it's just meant to be but you just see like we we are all regular people bro at one point in time those people that were so lit and that we all like look at as celebrities were not that lit at one point like i think people forget that like they had a regular life as well they are regular people just because they have a certain following or a certain amount of bread that does not change the fact that they are still people like what i will clap back at that ass you can play with her, you can even play with them, but she won't play with me. What? <laughs> what? Nah. I would be in the shape room every other day for that. CC Valentine, black and all, such and such, again, yes, leave, cause leave me alone. Leave me alone, I'm not the one for that. But today's gonna be a productive day. After we finish this smoke session, I'll probably just edit some videos. Get my videos going. Just so I could finish that video that I recorded of this hair yesterday. Two month update. And I still like it. Y'all gonna see how it looked yesterday when I curled it and it was cute. I'm probably gonna have to curl it again for the video today. But that's light. Couple wand curls. Y'all know I like my loose waves. But yeah, we definitely had to get another smoke session out. I think I'm gonna start just doing weekly smoke sessions or like two a week or something like that because y'all be liking my smoke sessions <laughs> people be asking me to do them like i'll be smoking with you like yeah let's smoke let's 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 chop it up let's chop it up it's crazy people be watching me like the people that be watching me when you you would never know who watching you like you'd be surprised at the people who's watching you that's crazy <laughs> it's 2022 if you still come into people as a woman, pack that shit up. <laughs> because what the fuck? Somebody inboxed me the other day, sending me a picture of somebody I went to high school with and gonna ask me, did I mess with him? Am I messing with him now? Allegedly. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. Per. Excuse me? 
Sweetie, I ain't seen that man in 10 years. I'm about to turn 27. Are you serious? High school? And then me and him never even, I barely even talked to the man at that. Oh, excuse me? I looked at that, then the picture itself look old. I'm just confused. Like, I be in the house minding my business, as y'all can see. Majority of the time, I'm by myself. So it's just like, every time my name pop up in something, or it's just something with me, I just be so confused. Like, why do I be the first person people think about? Like, how did my name even come up in that conversation? If me and you really haven't had a conversation, spoke, we don't even have each other on social media. Why are you asking me about this boy? Like what? You act you, you got the wrong femme. You acting the wrong femme. Maybe he is messing with somebody, but it's not me. Like what? What? The year just started and people is going out bad already. Leave me alone. I'm making my content. I'm minding my business. Leave me alone. Ask me about something I ain't never seen. I haven't even seen in mad long. Like, try again. Boy, if you don't. Talk about, I had to ask you because these niggas be lying. Lying about what? We don't, you seem, you have, I'm sure you haven't seen me in his phone. Why are you hitting me up? How you found my Instagram? Do you know me? Who is this? I'm just confused. Like, like that's why I'd be like, you never know who watching you, who's stalking your page because there's a million. Like, I it's to the point where I stopped blocking fake pages on Instagram because it's like I don't. Whatever they looking for, they ain't gonna find it. Cause first of all, even if, if I was messing with somebody, I wouldn't be posting it unless that was somebody I'm dating. Like that's my man. I'm not. What? <clears throat> that's crazy to me. I don't understand. People be having too much time on their hands. They be worried about the wrong things. Like, 2022 just started and the year just started and you starting a year off inboxing girls about. Then talk about some you asking for a friend. That makes it worse because who's your friend? Why am I in this conversation? Like, and why can't your friend hit me up herself? I'm just over fans, and this is why I have like five friends now where people be like, oh, tell your friends to pop out. Okay, oh, and me and all three of them coming in strong. Like, what? I don't have friends. Like, females is just too mixy for me. Too mixy, always worried about the wrong shit. I'd rather be by myself and get to where I need to be than hanging around the wrong fans and be caught up in some bullshit or whatever the case may be because they worried about the wrong shit. Like, what? Get your bag up. That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about my next bag. Another stream of income. How about that? Like, People really be worried about the wrong things. But I'm about to finish drinking this tea. Go and eat my bagel soon. It's 8 o'clock now. But yeah, it's 2022, ladies. Don't come to no one as a woman. If you have to... You already lost if you're hitting up another female. Whether you hit the wrong one up or not, you already lost at that point. Because at that point, you already have knowledge of other females. It's, I'm not hitting no female up. First of all, if I have, if, if, if I have a situation with someone I am dealing with, we're going to deal with that behind closed doors. Especially if it's someone I plan on still dealing with. What's the point of doing all that? Now you hit, now you, now what if me and him were like friends now? And I just go back and tell him, and then now you look crazy because what? What? I'm just, yeah, there's not even somebody that's a friend right now. Like, I don't have no contact with him. I don't have his number. I, I don't have him on social media. We don't have each other on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, nothing. And you asking me about this, man? I don't think I, I don't like that. I don't like that. Ugh. But I'm about to finish my blunt. Yeah, I got a bump in. That's how I know today gonna be a good day because I woke up just feeling good. But yeah, before I get copyrighted for playing that song make sure y'all go bump that new album because i'm telling y'all i think i'm gonna have to do a smoke and playlist one day because what make sure you guys like comment subscribe follow me on the gram 
And yeah, I'll see you guys later in my next video because we got more coming. Now I'm smack. At 8, 10 a.m. I'll see you guys after I get cute, do my eyebrows and all that. Okay, okay.